you and I have something in common. We both owe a lot to uh, Lauren Michaels. Yes. Lauren Michaels gave me my shot, gave you your yeah. shot. Yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, iconic, uh, great man. But let's face it, <laughs> everybody who has worked with Lauren, we're all comedy performers, and we all, when we get together, all we do is our Lauren Michaels impressions. Yeah. And you, we, and and everybody does them. Everybody, everybody does them. Everybody does Yours them. Yours is. I think one of my all-time favorites oh, because you. you put, you got the voice down of Lorne Michaels, but you put a particular spin on it. Yeah. You get very specific with yours. Yeah, yeah. Lauren, Fred Armisen pointed out a thing that when Lauren has to name drop, which he does a lot because he knows like. He knows all of his friends are super famous. Super yeah. famous. He always kind of rubs his eyes like this. Like he's really put out by the amount of famous people he knows. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so we would do a bit uh, John Solomon and some of the writers uh, of Norm of uh, Lauren uh, name dropping serial killers. <laughs> <laughs> like he goes he to he goes to restaurants to hang out and and with famous people and famous serial, serial killers, killers join him. Yeah, and he's yeah, yeah. So like one would be like, I went to Kansas City um, with Alec and Marcy uh, to try to get <laughs> BTK killer off death row. And <laughs> They said, here comes BTK. I go, you know, his name's Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> He's a human being. <laughs> and one day, yeah, I'd be like, I was at Latanzi with Mick and Jeffrey Dahmer and... <laughs> Young man was our waiter, and he left. And and Jeffrey said, "I have to go to the bathroom." I said, "Yeah, of course you do." <laughs> Nineteen seventy-eight. I was living with Paul Simon, and Ted Bundy called me. And... <laughs> Maybe I should go deeper with the serial killer. Yeah. Get you, misjudged, you misjudged killing. how dark this crowd is. I know, this is a really up crowd. Yeah. <laughs>